So I was supposed to be moving today, literally in the midst of packing boxes into the moving truck, and then out of nowhere, we get this new exotic right here, Bastion. Yes, boys and girls, it is the first of its kind, and I'm literally pulled over, hooked up to a generator right now with my PC, gathering gameplay for this thing, and I cannot wait to get to my house finally and get this on my own account. Big shout out here to Apple Pond 420 for allowing us to get on his account and gather some gameplay for this very unique weapon guys we're going to talk about this fusion rifle from both the pvp and pve perspectives as it definitely has a place in both of those activities we're also going to talk about how it feels for controller users as this thing does not perform like a normal fusion rifle it almost has like a lord of wolves feel to it and as you know lord of wolves feels very different for controller players personally after playing with controller bastion feels excellent maybe even better to some extent but first before we get into all that let's go over these perks intrinsically bastion comes with saint's fist charged to fire three spreads of kinetic slugs that's right kinetic slugs interesting as it doesn't necessarily do crit damage but when you actually fire bastion it shoots a burst of fusion rifle bolts approximately seven bolts per slug grouping thus resulting in a total of 21 bolts shot and that's just from one bullet one bullet guys i know it was kind of blowing my mind like i looked at it almost as like pocket infinity in some ways but when you look at your ammo reserves, you'll notice that even though three shots are being fired, you're only using up one shot there in your magazine. And considering that it shoots 21 bolts in total, that's amazing all on its own. Other fusion rifles shoot only seven bolts per shot. Bastion here, being a kinetic, is not only expending three times the amount of bolts, but simultaneously using less ammo and doing 10% more damage inside a PVE in comparison to its other fusion rifle counterparts. As all of our other fusion rifles are only present in that energy slot now our barrel perk here is hammer forge rifling for that bump there in range we talked about how much we like that trait or that barrel perk no it doesn't tack on as much range to say something like full bore but it doesn't hurt our handling doesn't hurt our stability it's just a nice little bump there in range it also comes with liquid coils this actually increases the charge time from its original 740 to now 780 but simultaneously it increases that damage now i don't know what the damage was before but just know majority of the bolts hit 30 per bolt inside of crucible there are some 29s, like a few, but even if those numbers are rounded, I mean, we're talking about a damage value if you were to land all three bursts from these bolts being between 609 damage and 630. You know how overkill that is? You can easily kill three max resilience guardians in a row with each consecutive burst. Now, the trade on this weapon is breakthrough. A portion of the weapon's damage bypasses elemental shields. Now, it's not necessarily something that benefits us in PvP, although as you see there with Bastion, it really Really doesn't need any more help in pvp it's doing fantastic but inside of pve when it comes to dealing with elemental shields, yes, kinetic weapons do less damage. Definitely more noticeable in match game scenarios, but even in just regular PvE activities, Bastion, just like any other kinetic weapon, is going to be doing less damage. Now, something I was wondering was that bypassing elemental shields, does that mean we would be getting full damage? As in, as if that elemental shield was not there, would we be hitting something like 1,500 something damage per bolt? Not necessarily. You see, what it it means when it says it bypasses that elemental shield is that in comparison to the lowest damage amount that this kinetic slug fusion rifle would be doing without this trait would be about 317 to 318 but about half of our bolts in a single shot say for instance like 10 to 11 of the bolts out of the 21 will actually get an 85 to 86 percent increase there in damage thus resulting in the damage values being somewhere around 589 to maybe 590 regardless though it is not what I originally thought. Like I thought, okay, a couple of our bolts there that we're shooting will be hitting like 300 something, but the other half of our bolts would be hitting the full 1000 something damage as if the elemental shield wasn't even present. Now, obviously, when we compare this to any other weapon, matching energy types gets the full amount of damage. You can see here from this fusion rifle, one shot easily blows away this elemental shield. So I'm not sure if I would use Bastion in like a match game scenario, but when you're just dealing with regular enemies or just any major or high health target bastion is an excellent choice and probably over the next few days i'll break down 
exactly how it stacks against other fusion rifles, more specifically, Merciless. I know, boys. Been saying for a while now, we were gonna re-review Merciless. Now's the time. The comparison's gonna happen. Now, let's get back to PvP. Now, in PvP, it shoots out those three consecutive bolt clusters, but again, you do have, like, a slight delay in which those shots are released. This is when things got interesting, because when you just sit there and you just lay on the trigger, you're not really pulling down on your joystick or your mouse. You could potentially kill people pretty easily at like 13 meters, right? But then the gap from 13 to 20 meters is when you got to finesse some things, especially when you get up to 20 meters. Like originally I thought this weapon couldn't kill at 20 meters, which sounds poor in comparison to fusion rifles, more notably against something like Arantil. But what I found was that if you happen to just pull down on your joystick that you're aiming with, or maybe even your mouse, about midway through your second shot, maybe even actually at the initial start of the second shot of that three round burst, you'll do a much better job of keeping that bolt grouping together tighter, and it should result in you getting some pretty decent kill ranges from this fusion. And when we sit there and we look at the recoil pattern of this weapon, it seems to deviate more to the left, but I did have times where it deviated to the right. It's very random. It does have a recoil direction of 75, so it's actually supposed to be pretty vertical for the most part. But like I said, guys, you want to hang on to it a little bit, pull down on your joystick or your mouse halfway through your shot, and this will maintain that accuracy. Now, playing with both controller and mouse and keyboard, like I said, I felt like the weapon performed better for me for controller users. That stickiness was super beneficial, which is kind of like the opposite of Lord of Wolves. Lord of Wolves, the recoil recoil is almost non-existent there for mouse and keyboard users, but it's definitely present there for controller users. Bastion still has that recoil present for both controller as well as PC and mouse and keyboard. I would just say that the stickiness there that's present on this fusion rifle for controller users allows the weapon to still compete and may actually be opted for over mouse and keyboard. Either way it goes, they both felt good to me and they both have a learning curve, which is why I don't think Bastion is overpowered. It is a fusion rifle. It's also a fusion rifle that has a small delay. Yes, it can get those multi-kills in those optimal ranges, but don't expect that at 15, 20 meters, not easily at least. So in comparison to other fusion rifles, I think Bastion is very much balanced. I think it's very good. I don't think it's overpowered by any means. What I like about it more than anything thing i love the charge time and i think it's one of the best close range weapons you can use dealing with shotgunners hell even dealing with lord of wolf users pretty much anything in short range it does a phenomenal job i would highly recommend using as many of our artifact mods as you can unflinching rifle aim the enhanced version, rifle loaders, parts like that that just help you with that ease of use here. And again, feel free to go with Light Reactor. Overall, Bastion itself is a very fun and enjoyable weapon. But let's get to the quest. I know I should have brought up how to get this weapon. I'm sure some of you have already seen many guides. Down below will actually be Houndish's guide to get this exotic. I feel like currently the reviews right now about this weapon is that there was so much done in regards to the community, the puzzle solving, everything that was put into place so many of us actually thought we were going to get an exotic sword. Raised Lighter, Dark Drinker, Bolt Caster, maybe a combination of all those. Some even went out on a limb and said Galahorn. I think what we were not expecting was the Fusion Rifle Bastion. I just wasn't expecting it. I saw it on the roadmap. I knew it was coming as an exotic quest, but that's two weeks from now, or a week from now. Two weeks from when the puzzle was released to us. So I was not expecting, considering the sheer amount of work that many people in the community have put together over the course of a week. I'm talking hundreds of hours spent per person in order to solve this puzzle i just wasn't expecting this on top of that even though this fusion rifle does do pretty good damage it's very nice in pvp in pve it's not necessarily blowing anything out of the water i really want to save it for our comparison video between this and merciless but just know many pve players which are the people that sat down and put in the work to solve this puzzle over the past week are probably feeling a bit salty i would have liked to have seen something else here and that's not the take away from bastion because again when we review these weapons we just need to review the weapon on its own merit right not anything that surrounds it or how to get it i just want to review the weapon and how it handles itself in all activities in all facets of destiny but i can't help but talk about this right here simply because it is a bit of a disappointment because now we got next tuesday coming up and then what then right what are we going to get then so let me know in the comments below what you think other than that whether you want to get bastion this week or next it really doesn't matter it's a good fusion it's the first of its kind it's 100 percent unique and i think you'll very much enjoy it fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right